Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for another episode of Minecraft The Lord of the Rings, and we are rejoining us back on the edge of the old forest, about to go into the Barrow Downs. The plan for today is to go through the Barrow Downs and up into Bree, and then make our way along into the Lone Lands and get over to Rivendell at some point in the future. But we are going to do a bit of exploring around the Barrow Downs, uh, because there is some good loot in the Barrows. And those trees are still moving. Gosh. Anyway, the reason I've got my bed out is because the Barrow Whites, or Rites, or whatever they're called, only spawn in the open at night time, and they spawn in the Barrows whenever. So whenever it comes night time, we're sleeping. Uh, but we're going to just go along and raid some Barrows, but... Cross the threshold. Essentially, don't let them touch me. And they like to do that with the FOV. Uh, okay. And now we can raid his, his thing. Pretty well. My uh, silver. Don't uh, want our and stuff. Just silver and bones. There we are. We're getting stuff. That's essentially what we're going to be doing in today's episode. Running around the barrows and stealing things from dead people. But yeah. Yeah, the noises in this place are scary. Okay, we just need to get away. Where is he? Okay, he's coming. God, I remember doing this in the first um, time I went to the Barrow Downs. And it just being absolutely terrible. Ooh, we got some stuff. Okay, so what have we got? We got a book, but that's already gone into the memento pouch by the look of it. So it's a book we already had. So yeah, it could have... Ooh, it may have been Tom Bombadil. Could possibly have been Tom Bombadil. Equipment pouch. We have one of these on Orion chest clothes. Maybe we can combine them to improve the durability. Let's do that. That's a good idea. So yeah, we 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 got some good stuff. Yeah. So let's <laughs> let's keep braiding. Uh, silver nugget, silver coin. There we are. But yeah, in today's episode, uh, I hope you are happy that I've <laughs> I've made the series somewhat regular. Uh, once again, I'm only recording this like a week after I did the last one, so it's going quite well. And of course, it wouldn't be a Lord of the Rings episode without rain. So yeah, we're just gonna. Let's hope we yeah we're heading in the sort of right direction, sort of northeast-ish. And yeah, the Barrow Downs are really quite terrifying. In my audio book that I'm listening to of Lord of the Rings, um. We are just... I'm just about to get to the bit of the Barrow Downs. They've just hooked up with Tom Bombadil, so... Yeah, the Barrow Downs are coming shortly, so that should be quite nice to see. Yeah, just stay away. Good. Oh. These barrow, ooh, a white blade, a white bane barrow blade. Plus four melee damage versus whites. Huh. Gobbler, Arranger's Guide, Volume 2. Do we already have that? No, we don't. So that is a new book. That is a new book to look at. Arranger's Guide, Volume 2, Weapons of the War. Fighting up close. Welcome to the second volume of Arranger's Guide. If you are reading this, you have continued your training beyond the basics of the first volume. The, this book shall introduce you to the next weapons you must learn about. These are the kind of weapons that should be only be used when you are far too close to your enemies. Such as weapons are off. Such weapons are often used as our last resort. It's 32 pages. I'm not reading that. <laughs> we could be here all episode just reading this book. And these noises aren't helping at all, in any way, shape, or form. In fact, these these 
Yeah, these noises aren't great. But we're going to keep going. And we're only going to raid the barrows that have easy entrances, so like, I'm not going to go over there. But yeah. It's like the fields of the dead. Just raid tomb raiding. Tomb raiding these guys. Didn't want to get hit that much. He can't get out of there. Because they're, they're three blocks tall, and that's two blocks. So yeah. Let's raid the stuff. Let's go arrows, yep. We don't want to small pouch. Cool. Let's keep going. And hope to get out. Uh, this looks like it could be the borders of the Barrow Downs coming up shortly. How far? No, it's not. We're still very far in the Barrow Downs. <laughs> but yeah, this place. No, oh, it's terrifying. I'm going to see if I can get a thumbnail going into this Barrow here. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that, that will be the thumbnail of the Barrow White attacking us. Oh, see, that's something I usually do off camera, but I realise that I'm not going to be in the. Ooh, this is cool. Lucky Anorium Dagger. Mm. That's quite cool. It's got uh, plus one luck. Which is quite nice, but. Yeah, realistically, that was a thing that I would be doing off camera, usually getting a thumbnail. But um, I realised that I would be not coming back to the Barrow Barrow Downs really anytime shortly, anytime soon, because I'm probably going to get out of them in this episode. Yeah, get, get smacked. And a Hardy Alnorian Sword, six point five. That's ten. Nice. Oh, and the arrow. Can never have too many arrows and stuff. But yeah. So I did that in the episode now, but yeah. Barrow Downs are really quite a scary place. I mean, they're better than the old forest. Because uh, you only get plagued at night, really, here. But whereas when you're in the old forest, it's trees just all the time chasing you, and it's actually such a pain. But here it's it's pretty good. Here it's alright. And I mean we're gonna we're gonna be out of Barrow Down shortly, we're gonna be heading up to Bree. Which will be a good way to go. And then we'll be able to have a look round uh in Breeland and wow, that's the lake. Oh, it's very misty, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad to bring this series back as sort of like a uh, more regular series because you guys really like it in a week that episode's almost got 40 views hello wasn't expecting to have visitors so early in the day well that's okay you will get slain that's quite all right i can can handle one or two it's just at night time there's like 11 of them and that's when there's issues and yeah we can get up Sort of higher and have a look around, but yeah, you guys really enjoyed the last last episode of this series that I did, so I decided to continue it and continue it well. I shall do because this is a really good series because it's nice and easy to record and edit, and nice and easy to upload as well. And you guys seem to really like it. I really like it, so why shouldn't I upload it more often? And along with my 1.7.10 pack series. It goes quite well because that's two sides of modded Minecraft that you get to see. And yeah, I remember coming here last time quite well. So yeah, that's. And I like absolutely cheesing it. Because they can't get me when I'm out here, but I can get them. I am the slayer of the Barrow Whites. Got uh, a tough honor in helmet, another tough honor in helmet. So maybe if we combine the two, we'll have a full durability tough honor in helmet. No, it just makes an honor in helmet. Oh, whatever. It will go in the equipment pouch instead of a glancing hardy. Nope, the glancing hardy staying. Right. Let's drop these on the floor. Pick them up in our bag. So I love how when you uh, in the pouches it just goes straight into the pouch. It's really useful that way. 
Why is there always rain when we play Lord of the Rings? There's a bush here. Wild berries. Oh, they were bad wild berries. Okay, should have read a ranger's guide volume berry. I don't know. Because, yeah, they they weren't good. They weren't healthy at all. Oops. Well, that's a new achievement. Wait a minute. Are we at the Barrow Downs? Yeah, we are. We're in Arrow Idol. Nice. We've made it out of the Barrow Downs safely without dying. Goodbye, Barrow Downs. Hello, Ariador, once again. We need to get back up to the path and into Breland. And then we'll be able to have a look around there. But yeah, it's nice being back in the wilderness and not in the Shire or not somewhere we know. It's nice being in the wilderness. And there's a ranger camp which we can go and raid. Which, you know, good thing to do. Hopefully there'll be some quests for us. So we should probably go to the Dunedain uh, thingy. Just uh, so we can get our alignment up with them if they have any quests. But range boots, bread, bread's always good to take. Oh, oh, hello, thunder! It's a thunder battle. Yeah. Wow, jeez. It's almost louder than me. You can't hear myself think. Oh gosh. Oh, well, okay. That happened. Oh, hello. Let's slay some orcs. Yeah, let's, let's slay some orcs. Yeah, <laughs> get, get slain, dude. God, the weather! Yeah, too right. Oh, small pouch. It's rotten flesh in it. We don't want the small pouch. We don't want the rotten flesh flesh in it. God, that's loud! Alright, let's see if we can sleep. Yes, good. Okay, we can get rid of the... Get rid of the stupidly loud thunder. Gone. It's gone. Phew. Nope, it's not gone. It's definitely not gone. Okay. Note to self. It's loud. Uh, we have to speak loudly. And, okay. Kill the scum. No thanks. I will kill you. With the orc foot slayers. We will absolutely roast you. Yeah. God, it's loud. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fight you like a man. Go here. That's what you get. Alright, let's get out. How's that dirt? Crossbow bolts can go in the equipment pouch. That's not the equipment pouch. Where's the equipment pouch? There. Okay, that'll stay in there. Right, northeast. That's this way, across this huge lake. And these orcs. Okay, let's cross the lake. Even though that's probably not a good thing to do in a thunderstorm. But it has to happen. Oh, gosh. God, it really likes the lightning, doesn't it? It does really like the lightning. Jeez, okay. Well. Has it stopped? Is it just normal rain? I hope so. No, no, it's still stupidly loud. Fact, options, music and sounds, master volume, 5%, weather, 10%, master volume, 10%. So that, that should be a bit better. No, it's still really loud. Okay, so I guess ambient environment is the problem with the thunder. Let's put that at 50 and the rain at 50. Okay, I think that's better. No, or maybe not. Alright, well. I can't figure it out. <laughs> We're just going to have to not hear ourselves think for a bit. Remember we had a pumpkin back in one of the old series? 
God, I can't remember. His name was like Gerald or something, or Jeffrey. But I distinctly remember having a pumpkin. Where are we? Oh, we're almost to Breland. We're literally right on the borders of the Breland, which should be cool. It's a really nice place. And it stopped thundering. Finally. Glass? The uh, Breland's quite hilly. Guess that's just a big hill. Well, that's good to know either way. Oh, yeah. So much quieter without the thunder now. It's nice. As soon as we get into Breland, it'll be nice. Cause I can't remember what's in Breland. If, if like any houses or anything are in Breland. I'd like to know that. I would definitely like to know that. I think we're almost there. Yep, a settlement of men. We're in Breland. If we keep heading in this sort of direction, we'll eventually find the path. Then we can follow that and get get back on our feet. Because, you know, it's been nice going off road for a bit. Definitely took us a bit of a bit of a detour. Oh, actually it could have is coming because we were down here. So following the river straight across is such a such a shortcut instead of doing that. So yeah, in, in theory, we actually took a shortcut cross-country. Because, you know, our ultimate destination is far down in the south. Uh, down in, like, and just wherever, really, to be honest, I don't really know. Just places to explore. And, yeah, I don't really have any idea where we're going. Or why we're going there, but we're just doing that. So at the end of the day, I hope we can find a path soon. But I know if we keep heading east, northeast that is, we will because we'll eventually come across the Great East Road. Which, you know, that'll be a good thing to do. And wow, we've, we've only been going like 20 minutes. What is that? Hmm. Seems to be a tomb down here. Oh, very interesting. Ow, oh, that was a stone. Okay. Well, that's certainly interesting. I don't really know how we're going to get out of this. We need blocks. Cobblestone will do. There we are. No! Oh, you're... you got to be kidding me falling down. And losing most of my cobblestone anyway. Right, how are we going to get out? mind that okay we're out we made it <laughs> okay note to self don't fall in tombs and that was what the barrow downs were for going into tombs so we shouldn't do that anywhere else really because there was nothing down there and we lost all of our cobblestone getting out <laughs> oh yeah I'm certainly certainly very glad that the food's holding up well I don't actually know how much we have in the food pouch. We have more cooked rabbit. I'll take that. Uh, yeah, we've got plenty of food in the food pouch. Uh, it's time to probably put some of this stuff away in here. Got loads of stuff. Just loads of random stuff. Which is good. That's good for questing, that is, getting loads of random stuff. Not that we found anyone for quests in a long while, but... You know, turn are these more wild berries? Should we see if these guys are poisonous? Elderberries. Yeah, these guys aren't poisonous. And the path! We have discovered the path. Brilliant. Whereabouts on the path are we? Oh, we're just here, so we'll go through it past Brian Staddle, all the way to the Forsaken Inn. Have a, maybe, we'll maybe have a poke around in Midgewater, cause, just because I like the marshes. They look cool. And then we'll be going into the Lone Lands, which are even more fun. But yeah, oh. I, I'm being, uh, um, speaking of uh, Lord of the Rings, and that's what we're doing, I ordered a new phone case because my mumbo jumbo one that I've had for ages is just sort of battered and broken and bent. And I don't really watch mumbo anymore, so I don't really see the need to have the phone case if it's broken, battered, and bent. And I really just don't really care for his videos that much anymore. Um,. So I've ordered myself a White Tree of Gondor phone case. It's black leather 
and it's got a printed white tree of Gondor on it, which looks amazing. It was either that or the One Ring, like the inscription on the One Ring. Uh, so actually, it would have been the logo for this series. Yeah, coming to think of it, that's what the logo of this series is. It's the Lord of the Rings surrounded by, yeah, that that One Ring inscription. I should have got that realistically because it's like my series, but. No, it was the White Tree of Gondor. It looks brilliant because the white on the black looks really, really good and really, really, really nice. So I'm glad that I managed to get that. And I was, uh, yeah, it's, it's a good thing to buy. I mean, I mean, I had my eye on a tankard from the Prancing Pony, which it just looks cool. Either that or the dream, Green Dragon. I, I really want a good tankard like that. Just, I like merchandise like that. It's so cool. And I mean, I was on the Weta Workshop website looking at the prop replicas and the weapon replicas. And oh my god, are they expensive, but oh my god, are they cool. <laughs> I could get an Andural or something, like, for like a thousand pounds, but man, does it look cool. It really does look cool. I just realised how much Gundabad hate me. Minus 64 with Gundabad, god, they really dislike me. I can't remember why I have so low with the rangers. That doesn't really... Unless I killed some rangers once. Hmm. I don't know. I can't remember. It was so long ago now. Yeah, Greenland's really nice. I love just walking through these sort of... Lovely terrains in my... Wanderer skin and high elven armour. That's the thing is that, like... Thinking about it, there will be tales across the Chire of, like... This random man who is not really from anywhere turning up uh, in ragged clothes, going away to the Blue Mountains, coming back laden in elven gear and dwarven weapons with satchels and packs and a hobbit pipe. And no one knows where he's come from. It's like a mystery. That's kind of cool. I mean, that's really cool. That would be a really cool thing to write about. Yeah, people in the Shire will be talking about this man who just mysteriously appears one day. Oh, that's a cool idea for a series that I turn up from my travels with nothing and uh, back to the Shire, uh, and I get raided. I've I, like I've been raided by orcs and stuff. Well, that's the thing. I could do a whole thing where I'm like captured, but well, I, I say I've been captured by orcs, and they've completely ransacked me of all of my goods and left me just in my ragged clothes that were on me. And then uh, some riders came from Rohan or something. Hey, we're at Bree. Because it's the crossroads. Is this where Bree is? Yeah, Bree. And yeah, they were like, uh, and then they chased all the orcs off, and I managed to escape, and I come back to the Shire. Um, in search of food and homeliness because that's where, what, what I found at the shower and then I find like Nano or something or someone acting as a hobbit so that we can have Nano be a hobbit and he comes out of a hobbit hole and chooses to help me and then we go off on another adventure in like uh, as a quest god that'd be brilliant that would be honestly so cool I'll, I'll talk to Nano about that I mean I will do that after this series well, that would be a really cool thing to do some point in the future. That would be really, really cool. We'd need a Lord of the Rings server, though, and I don't know how we'd do that. Because, I mean, we, I could just set up a server on my computer, which would work. But I wouldn't know how to make the world type. Well, actually, we could just go to the dimension. And then just stay in the dimension. Which would be cool. That would be very cool. But, like, I'd continue that series alongside this one if I was to do that. But we've already got a series together on the go, and he's already got his daily series up and going with a vanilla Minecraft Let's Play. Which, you know, I'm done tempted to do. I'm tempted to do a vanilla Minecraft Let's Play just on my own. But I'm a bit burnt out on vanilla Minecraft, you know? It's just like, uh, on SMPDX, I'm just tired of Amplified. I don't really have any big plans. I'm tired of building vanilla Minecraft style as well. I'm now in the mood of mods and automation and stuff. That's why I'm doing the 1.7.10 pack. 
and I'm also really in the mood for the Lord of the Rings where I can just explore and do whatever and I'm still gonna do Lego the Lord of the Rings and do that as a mod pack and you know I'm definitely gonna do that and in fact I may do that today I don't know I may start that today but it's like oh we're at the other we get the it's like straddle staddle staddle there we go got there in the end but yeah I might do that today start that up I mean the Lego games really don't have that much of an audience at all what's that it's just a fence but yeah they don't have that much of an audience but it would be really really good fun to do uh, the Lord of the Rings and then the Hobbit is like a prequel because both of those both both of those games are really good. Like, yeah, it'd be, that'd be so cool to do. It's just it's so sad we can't I can't have the music as well because the music is really what makes those games well. But yeah, I feel like that'd be a really really cool series to do. Then we can continue it by questing and finding all of the mithril pieces and having all the blacksmith designs and that I'm definitely gonna do that in fact I'm gonna do that straight after I've recorded and edited and uploaded this video is I'm gonna buy that game and start playing it and yeah hopefully it runs well I mean I need to get used to the controls on here but I may in fact yeah I may I may use a controller rather than this but you know we'll see we'll see definitely we'll see because that would be a really cool series to do is Lego Lord of the Rings. Because I did Lego Star Wars 3, the Clone Wars, back in the day. And I uploaded a few episodes of that and then I lost all my progress. So I just ended up deleting the series and uh, just never doing it. But that, that'll come back at some point. But I want to do like the complete saga first and then the Clone Wars. Because I feel like that would be cooler to do. And then I have also, I can get episode 7, episode 8, etc, etc. If they do a Lego game of them. So that would be definitely cool. That would be very cool. And yeah, we've made it quite a ways across Breland. We've made it far further in this episode than I thought we would. We went from here all the way up to here. We actually went up to there and then across. So we made quite good progress and we're almost in the Lone Lands. When we're in the Lone Lands, we get, ooh, we'll probably go from the last bridge and go up through Troll Shores and then down into Rivendell. In fact, I don't know how we'd get into Rivendell. We'd have to cross the river, we would. Then there's the high pass, misty mountains. Guys, so much stuff to do. We could fight Gollum again and tame Gollum. That would be brilliant. Having Gollum follow us on our, all our adventures. He'd probably die, but... You know, finding Gollum would be a brilliant thing to do. That would be great, because finding Gollum got me a lot of views last time. I'll tell you that, it's my most viewed Lord of the Rings episode ever, is finding Gollum. And yeah, it, it was a brilliant thing to do. But yeah, Lego Lord of the Rings is a series that I really, really want to do. Because that would be a great thing to do. Because I love just exploring the world as well in free play. And running around. Which is... Oh, me and my brother used to do this thing when we first played it. Where we'd do the journey of Frodo and Sam. Uh, as Frodo and Sam. Just in free play. And just follow their path exactly. And we'd see... Uh, time ourselves who could get to Mount Doom quickest whichever route they took as whichever character God it was such a brilliant series. I'm so glad like it wasn't a series. It's such a brilliant series. No such a brilliant idea oh, That was ages ago though. I probably wouldn't enjoy it now. I would Probably yeah, but yeah, that's serious. That's definitely gonna be a series. I'm gonna do I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that done straight after this then I am going to have to get some revision done. because Oh, it's only 12. Wow, it's only 20 past 12. I thought it was much later in the day. I thought it was like 4pm. But no, it's only 20 past 12. Brilliant, I've got a whole half a day to go. And it's only Saturday and I'm off for two weeks. So you can imagine that the video train is going to be up, up, up for this, the rest of this week. We're going to have loads of videos out over these two weeks. Which should suffice you guys. I'll schedule them. So they release over the next few weeks. And then, yeah. Uh, we'll be able to stagger them until I get some more free time to record more. Uh, because, yeah, my exams are coming up pretty soon. So I need to revise for them. Then I have the whole of the summer off. Where I can do videos. And then I have whole of year 13. Which there will be slower videos. And then I'm just I'm done with school. And then it's either university. Or a year out, then university. Or just work. But... I think I'm probably going to take a year out than university so you could have a whole year of just videos. 
which could be a cool thing or not I don't know we'll see depends what I do it really depends what I do because I can't really record videos in the evenings after school anymore uh, because I work uh, after school and then I get home and then I have homework and revision and stuff to do and then I like to play games with friends from school and I just don't have time to play on my own and record and I don't record with them because it just isn't content that would be friendly to this channel in any way shape or form so yeah it, it's one of those things and I do like to have a social life and stuff so as much as I very have a very little social life it's still a thing that I'd like to have and I just dropped my hammer let's not do that again <laughs> I, I yeah let's not do that again yeah where are we where are we we're right on the edge of Breland. We've almost crossed the entirety of Breland. We didn't go up into Chetwood or these places because, you know, there's not too much up there. Uh, really, we're only going to the places that I really do want to visit uh, in this series. We're not going to go absolutely everywhere like we did that one series uh, back before. Well, that series did have to end, which sucked. That really did suck. Uh, because I... Essentially, I, I uh, had to reset my old computer. I had to completely reset it. And, um, yeah, when I had to factory reset it, I, I told it to keep all my files. But delete the application. And what I didn't realize is when I, when I told it to delete all applications but keep all files, um, I ended up losing... Uh, when it deleted the applications, it deleted my Lord of the Rings mod as an application because it's a Java file. And um, and then when I re-downloaded it, it was a new new update. It updated, and I tried to uh, compatibility that with my old world, and it just it just wouldn't. And uh, we're back in a ride or now, so which is good. So yeah, I ended up losing the world for that series. Then I didn't have any motivation to do it. Put a pole out. Oh, there's bears. Hello. But yeah, I decided that I'd put a pole out saying, and loads of people said, yeah, just just kill off the series. Don't do it. So I did, and then I left it a couple months, and then I started uh, this series when I got my new computer, I think. Or I, uh, or I started it, and then I continued it when I got my new computer, making very sure to keep the world. And then this series has continued, and it's it's very nice. I like the whole just talk for an hour because the old series was very much cut cut up and cut and paste and stuff like that but I like you guys seeing every single part of this now because it's just nice to walk through like not like not a lot of things just walk through like terrain and stuff especially in like a Lord of the Rings setting it's like everyone who read the Lord of the Rings had a vision of what it looked like in their head and have that vision come to like and not come to light and not in like not in just the sense of the movie I mean, in the sense of the movies because the movies did a fantastic job I thought of bringing Lord of the Rings to real life but they still left out quite a bit like the Barrow Downs and Old Forest and things uh, and to be able to do that in a game which is loved by many in Minecraft have a unique art style to it it's it's it was nice it's a good so it was good it's a good thing to do and I really like doing it and I'm glad that you guys like watching it because that's very apparent that you guys do really do like watching it. But yeah, I can't wait to start the Lego Lord of the Rings series. And I want you guys to comment down below because this series does get comments. Whether if I did the Lord of the Rings Lego series, would you watch that as well as this? Because I know you, all you guys who watch this are big Lord of the Rings fans. So would you watch the Lord of the Rings Lego series? As well as this one, because if the amount of people who watch this watch the Lego series, I'd be much more inclined to keep it going past the end of the story and exploring the world and getting all of the unlocks and stuff and completing it 100%. And I'd really, really like to do that. So I really hope that you guys would watch that series when I, when I start it up, which will probably be later today. But, yeah, because I'm going to do the series regardless. But I still want to know whether you would still watch it anyway. And there are there are orcs, and we're gonna kill them. <coughs> what are you using as a weapon? Is that a pickaxe? God, you haven't been funded well. <coughs> Crossbows and stuff. You better saddle. Maggoty bread. 
Gotta love some maggoty bread. Why, Mag oh. I mean, they like meat. Okay. Okay, I wasn't expecting you to tr leap out the trees at me. I'd okay, okay. Yeah. This is all we got a book. It's not a new book, though. Don't want the Mordor dagger. God, they were they, they were Mordor orcs. Gosh, they weren't. They had a Mordor dagger. You know, that's never a good sign. Because you don't like Mordor. Nice. Nice orc draft. Yeah. Oh, is that an orc camp? Or is that a ranger camp? It's a ranger camp and there's a ranger tower off in the distance. Uh, right next to this house. Here we go, a crossbow. Very paranoid. I mean, not that I want a crossbow. Because it doesn't really do that much, but... It's cool to see. Of Gardolan. Have we got this book before? No, we don't. It is by Anborn. Cardolan was a realm of yore, a scion of old Numenor. From hapless years it rose, and yet it left our joy in the darkest debt. First quarrel and her bitter birth, then pe pestilence and barren earth. And last of all, the witch king came. He cursed her hills and he cursed her name. The Barrow Downs, we call them now, fellow remnants of a conquered vow. So Cardolan is the Barrow Downs, where we just were. Oh, okay. Don't steal my stuff. That's what you get. Jeez, okay. Stole my pouch. Where is my pouch? You stole one of my pouches. That's really... Wait. So, I killed them all, did I not? Or did one get away? Can't really tell. But if one got away, I'm going to be annoyed. Because that was, one, that was, I think, my valuables pouch. Yeah, it was. Ah! I'm dumbfounded. So I was just minding my own business. A group of bandits came out of nowhere. Decided to steal all my stuff. I got my weapons back, which was good. And stuff like that. But they stole my valuables pouch. So I've just lost all my gold and stuff. Well then. Well that's not made me very happy. Well I'm angry. I, I will take it out on all you. Yeah you have bows. Me too. I am an elf with a bow. I'm not even an elf. I'm a man with an elven bow. I wield it and kill the foe. They fear me greatly. And something something lately. So I kill them. And they die. Hooray. I can't do limericks on the spot, but it's close. I'm very annoyed that the bandits stole my uh stole my pouch like that. See that's what I'm saying, it's like with random occurrences like that, why would you not want to record all the time? Because no one knew that was gonna happen. I didn't know that was gonna happen. So with random occurrences, why like oh it's great. I got that on video, you guys saw that. And you are living it along with me. We're in the Lone Lands now or not? <coughs> it dies in this lag. <coughs> a lot of them over there. We're in the Lone Lands? No, we're still in the Riador. We're not even in the Lone Lands yet. Wow. 
Well, that's annoying me. I, I didn't realise bandits would just come out of nowhere like that just to, like, kill you. Now it's actually put a big damper on me. Don't want to drop that on the floor. Well, I guess that we now know bandits are a thing and they can steal pouches. I didn't even know what was going on for a minute there. I thought it was a ranger because it wasn't an orc. Then I realised he looked like me a bit because I'm ruggedy and horrible because I'm an ugly wanderer or whatever. Um, I like... They turn up in clothes like this, my ragged clothes. Start attacking me and I'm just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then steal all my stuff. I don't have a weapon. Luckily they didn't steal my bow and I could get them out with the bow. Uh, with my Linden bow. Hopefully we'll be able to get a better bow when we go to either Rivendell, um, the Woodland Realm, or Lothlorien. And, yeah, they just... Wow, okay. <coughs> Crossbow. Orc crossbows are the downfall of men. Like Boromir. He, he wasn't a fan of the crossbow. Yeah, he... he yeah, he got killed by the crossbow. Is that... I think we may be approaching the lowlands because the grass colour changed. Yep, and there's boulders everywhere. Wish me luck. Wish me luck in the lowlands. There isn't even a path. A lonely land out of your door. This means I've visited a lot of biomes, and yeah, this is this a lonely land full of orcs and horrible things and. Just got to keep running. We don't want to get into a fight with too many of them. Okay, maybe we do. Yeah, a few hours in there. Yeah. That's what I think. Okay. Get oh, look. Some orc steel. I wish we could do something with that, but no. My valuables pouch is gone, so it's not gone into the pouch. Ah. <sighs> So that means I need a new pouch for valuables. Gosh, that's annoyed me. That really has annoyed me. Oh yeah, th these lands are crawling with orcs. There's a range of... T oh god, there's wargs. Run. If we can get up that ranger tower, plonk the bed down to sleep, we should be safe. I don't want to look. I do want to look. I want to look far away. Rangers! Help us! Get up! Ugh. God! Hey, friend. Do you mind if I just go to the top of your tower real quick? Alright. Plonk the bed down. Let's sleep. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's put this stuff away. Do we have a spare pouch? No, we don't. So we'll put... So what do we have? Equipment pouch, romantic pouch, workstation... Oh, thank God we've still got the workstation pouch. That was a bad thing. Right, for now let's put them in here. We'll get a new pouch soon. I think we're good to go. Thanks for like. Oh, okay, maybe not. If we can kill these wargs, that would be nice. Okay. I'm out of arrows. Okay, yeah. Okay, we killed the wargs. I'm doing better than most people. Good thing I'm armoured. Okay, we'll have a look at our spoils soon. God, yeah, they really do hate me. Okay, let's put our spoils back in here. And we already had that book, so we don't need to look at it. Okay, let's continue east. So what's that? That seems to be a fort of some description. Okay, and I 
let's let's eat so we can return. Yep. Ah, there is a chest in here. So yeah, it looks like there's a port that was once great, but now a marsh. And there's lots of stuff in here. Second letter to the king from Balin, son of Fundin. Okay, the Balin from the Hobbit is Balin, son of Hundin, not Fundin. I think, or am I wrong? To King, to King Dane the Second. I hope this letter finds you well. The colony of Kazadum is thriving. So it probably is Balin, son of uh, Thundin. Shortly upon settling in the 21st hall, we set out to work, for there was much to be done. Since then, we have reclaimed many of the lost chambers and halls, expanding our dwellings day by day, uncovering more that was thought forever lost. Many forgotten treasures have been found, including Durin's axe, which I have taken for myself. The fires burn in the deep. The mines and the forges have returned to life. There are no words to describe the joy we have. You will soon hear from me soon. Balin, son of Hundin, Lord of Moria. Wow, that's so cool. That's not, that noise isn't, but isn't it cool to have, like, we need another memento pouch soon. But it's really cool to have, like, tie-ins to the, like, to the film and book lore in a mod like this. But, yeah, like, to have proper tie-ins in the mod to stuff that actually happens in like the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit is so cool to see a like, little Easter eggs and tie-ins like that is brilliant oh it's really great oh, I'm so glad I found that Wow also wow look at the time we've been going quite a while but I feel like going a little bit longer because my voice hasn't decided to be shot yet and I'm having fun I'm having fun recording Lord of the Rings I've missed this I've missed this greatly and then when we do the Lord of the Rings Lego series, it'll even be better. It'll be even better. So I'm glad. But yeah, we have another fort. We'll raid this fort and then we'll call it a day. I think we we'll end it off raiding a fort. It's always good to do. The Lone Lands are also so cool. And they're also massive, so we have quite a way to go. We're not going to. I don't think we'll visit Midgewater. I mean, we can do. That's just straight north. But, yeah, it's a horrible place. Where is this chest, then? In this corner up here? Wow! A hundred silver... Oh, Angmar leggings. I'll take them. Hefty Arnorian spear. No need. Drawing orc... Strong orc bow. Yeah, that's a hell of a lot better. We've got some more crossbow bolts. Some of them. Bone. Nice to see. Not stuff we really need, but uh, this stuff goes in here. Then we need the memento, not the memento pouch, uh, equipment pouch. These Angmar leggings, because then we have an Angmar chest plate and an Angmar legs. And this, uh, do we already have one of these 100 coins? No, we don't. So in the coin pouch, we can add in our 100 coin. Nice. Right, let's leave. Let's go up to Midgewater. Because that's not too far north. Then we'll end off the episode poking our faces into Midgewater and hopefully not dying. I just want to see the marshes because they're so cool to see. I love marshes. Marshes and forests and marshy forests are like my favourite landscapes. So I really want to see that before the end of the episode. And I mean, we have 10 more minutes because my threshold is an hour for these episodes. Anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. Is sort of where I call this episode, or call these type of episodes. So, uh, yeah, it, it, we have time. We have time to see these marshes. So I'll be glad to see them, and then we can head back south to the path when when we're done with looking at the marshes. Oh, yeah, I can't wait to see them. Right on the threshold of the marshes. In fact, let's let's have a look. Yeah, we're right on the threshold. They're probably just over this ridge, a little bit. But oh, we have camps to raid. God, there's so much stuff to do. We'll be here. We'll probably go over an hour. Not, not gonna lie. We, we, we'll probably, yeah, you know, we'll probably go over an hour. And it's always nice. It's always nice to get more arrows from these rager camps. 
keeping me stocked up. And a poor ranger tunic. You know, we don't want that. That's, that's why it's in a chest. It's bad. They didn't know they had mead in there. It's pretty nice. And now we'll raid the orc camp. They probably have nothing better. Lots of maggoty bread. He's not going to be our friend. Well, we won't kill him because he's not harming us. Sticks. Oh, there's the marshes. Told you they were just over this threshold. Rotten flesh. And I bet there's nothing better in this chest either. Some orc drought. Yeah, there's nothing in the orc camps. Wow, marshes. Midgewater marshes. There will be tons of midges here. Wow. Oh, I remember these places were being really loud, but we'll go in. More midges than water. That's funny. I haven't seen any midges yet. I'll have a bit of a run round. Hey, look, it's a marshy forest. Oh, we're stuck in the mud. Yeah, I haven't seen any midges. That's funny. Burnt down swampy house over here. We'll go and raid that. It's awfully eerie and quiet. It's not as good as the dead... What's this? Bottle of poison. Don't mind if I do. Gonna need another backpack soon. Luckily, I probably have enough leather to do so. It's leather and string that we need. There we go. There's the midges. Yeah, there's the midges that we need. Yeah. Okay, I think I think it's time we get out of this place now. Let's end the episode not in the midgy marshes because I hate midges. Because they're really loud. And there's a lot of them. There's another burnt down house. Or damp house or whatever this one is. I don't know which one they are. So yeah. More stuff to put in the chest. And we're all whiffle. Whiffle. So backpack. Ah. Tan leather. Found leather. Lots of string. So we need that much string. So it was like... so we need a bit more string okay so I'll work between episodes because that's a pain to do get string Cause remember the first episode gosh it was a pain to get another backpack let's get another backpack going so we can put stuff in it I mean we won't until we absolutely need it in fact yeah that's a, that's probably a good idea oh yeah we didn't we didn't quite go over an hour uh, like I thought we would we managed to make it just under but we will rejoin us in the next episode back here, exactly where we are. And apart from that, it's been a good episode. Thank you for watching. We've made great progress, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.